Hi everyone, it's Ms. Christie from East Pensboro Library here with another fun craft for you to do for the holidays. We're going to be looking at snow paint snowmen today and how to make them. So let's take a look at this. Um, as you can see, you're going to learn how to make a snow paint snowman. This was the example that I made to try it out and work through all the kinks with the project. <clears throat> and let me go ahead and share what supplies you're going to need. And you're in for an extra treat today because I'm going to add a little something as a craft that you could do quickly when you're finished with your snowman. All right, so let's take a look here. Here's what we're going to need. One piece of blue, light blue, or brown card stock or poster board, eight and a half by 11 inches. Make sure that it's card stock or poster board because the shaving cream mixture is very, very wet. And if I tried it with regular construction paper, it didn't go so well. You also need shaving cream. It has to be foam. You cannot use gel or it won't work white glue, flour or cornstarch, twigs, and sequins, beads, or buttons, and construction paper, felt, orange, black, and red, so that you can make the um, nose and the hat for your snowman. So you can see some of our supplies here, and let's go ahead and get started. Make sure you pay careful attention to everything that I'm saying for this project. There's not a whole lot of wiggle room with the consistency for the paint to dry the way it should dry. One thing I found out right away is I tried it with half a cup of flour, then I tried it with half a cup of cornstarch and it set up much better with cornstarch because it made it a little thicker. It takes a very long time for this project to dry. I messed up a bunch of them by touching them because it looks so neat with all that puffy paint. And I did it before it was dry and it didn't go so well. Here's the one that I originally made and you can see that it dried really nice and really hard, but it took a couple days. All right, so without further ado, let's get this project started. I'm gonna go over the directions with you first and then I'll show you how to do everything. Using a medium bowl and a plastic spoon, you're gonna mix the following ingredients together in the order that they're shown. One and a half cups of shaving cream and you have to put that in first. A half a cup of flour or cornstarch and a half a cup of white glue. <clears throat> And you're gonna stir that for 30 to 45 seconds, being sure to mix them thoroughly, but don't over mix or it won't puff up. Uh, actually, probably between 20 to 45, depending on whether you use cornstarch or not. Then using the mix, we're gonna drop one large ball onto the bottom of the paper, a medium sized ball of the puff, and a small ball to make the body of our snowman. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna decorate him. If everything dries and your scar for your hat comes off because it didn't dry to the paper or to the snowman well enough, you can go ahead and just glue it on. It's not a problem. The one main, main thing, and I'm gonna say it again and again because I don't want you to end up like me, three days of totally ruined projects because I just didn't have the patience to wait. And it looked so neat, all puffy. But every time I touched it, the oil from my hands got mixed in with it and then it would just dissolve. Do not touch the mix after it's on the paper. It takes a really long time. And when you are drying this, make sure that you keep it flat. Don't hold it up. Don't do anything with it. Keep it completely flat. This was what I got when I had the patience for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a piece of brown cardboard underneath my paper. And you know we're gonna do something messy today because of course I have my handy dandy apron on. And let's get this started and we'll see what we can make. Okay, so the first step was 
<clears throat> a cup and a half of shaving cream. Shake it up really good. I'm going to slide my paper up here so it doesn't get in my way. Let's see if we can get to, so you can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to just fill this cup up and I'm going to put it in my bowl here. Plastic spoon works best. So there's my cup. Now I need half a cup. Uh, there we go. If you get a little too much or a little too less, you can adjust the other ingredients. All right, so we got our cup and a half of shaving cream. Now remember, one of the things I said was it is so important to make sure that you add the things the way that they are shown in the directions. First the shaving cream, then the flour, the cornstarch, and then the white glue. All right, so let's take a look at this. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add a half a cup of cornstarch or flour. Pretty messy stuff. So, because I'm not near my kitchen, I already measured it out. I'm just gonna go ahead and empty it right in here with another spoon. We can get you to see what I'm doing here. I'm just gonna go ahead and empty this half a cup of cornstarch in with the shaving cream. Put this to the side so that I don't get it everywhere. All right, so now this is what we've got. A little mixture of the cornstarch and the shaving cream. Now we're gonna do half a cup of white glue. And I turn this upside down because it's almost empty. And there's probably just about a half a cup here. And that is exactly what I need. Take my third spoon. I'm going to put the white glue on top of here. All right, put these things to the side. I want you to take a look at what this consistency looks like. I don't know if you can see it that well because of the white background, but watch how I'm going to stir this. Go ahead and get rid of one of these spoons. Use my fingers a little bit. Oh, look, I've got a mess all over the table already. And we're gonna lay him right here. And then watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna kind of just really gently mix it all together, just like I'm making a cake. And you can see that it was kind of getting puffier and puffier and puffier and puffier as I'm mixing it. And I'm making sure that I'm crossing over like this and coming back around. It is a very messy project. So I recommend that you have something around here underneath you in the back and clean or close by. All right, so we've got a pretty good consistency right now. All right, so let's look at what this consistency looks like. It looks real, real puffy. Let me show you a picture. You can kind of see with the spoon and didn't over mix it. It's a little bit tacky and now I'm going to go ahead and move on to my paper. And here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and try to put this down like this. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna make, drop one big ball, spread it just a tiny bit, don't overwork it. And then a medium ball, just spread it a tiny bit. And then a very small ball for the head. And this guy is a little lopsided because it's kind of hard to do in video at the same time, but you can kind of see what I mean about, let me add a little more to this middle one. All right. So I can't, I don't want to hold him up because I don't want him to run. All right, so let's take a look at how much 
puffiness you need or what that should look like. And right here is what I've got. So let me go ahead and keep working here. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my little uh, googly eyes out and I'm gonna put two googly eyes on here quickly. Let's see, we'll get a little bit of red. Ah, here's two pink ones. I'm just gonna very gently place them on him. Oh, I messed that one up. I'll have to do a little recognizance on that then. All right. And then I can use some beads or some sequins. As you can see on this guy right here, I used some little jingle bells and a little bit of felt for the scarf and then the hat and I used beads for his mouth and a little bit of special orange paper. And then I took what was left of the puff paint snow put it into a baggie and cut the tip and did a little snow decoration around it. And instead of using twigs, I had a little bit of brown paper that I wanted to use up. So you can decorate your snowman however you want. You can do it before it dries. I would recommend letting the whole snowman dry overnight and then going back and gently gluing on whatever you want. You could even make a whole snowman family if you'd like. Have fun with them. The final thing that I want to share with you is the template that you can um, download that has right here the carrot nose. Here's your scarf. Down here is your hat. In the center is the extra special thing. This is a pattern for a snowman to make a... Voila, a chain of snowmen. And then you could decorate them any way you'd like. I'm not going to show you exactly how to make the snowman chain. It's just a little bit of extra special. But what you need to know is that you're going to have to fold your paper accordion style. And you're going to need the paper to be six and one quarter inches by four and a half inches length by width, because right here has to touch on the accordion folds. And you can see how I kind of had all of it, all of them accordion folded like this, just back and forth. And then I laid the pattern down, traced it and cut them out. The important thing is right here, where there's no line needs to be, on the edge of each paper and you can't cut that. That's what keeps them all attached. So have fun with your snowman paint project and have fun making your snowman garland if you'd like. And I'd like to give a special shout out today to my best friend, Heather and her son, Ray. They were kind enough to get me a little Christmas tree that I was able to decorate from my office up here to use in my videos. So thank you, Ray and Heather. And I would also like to give a shout out to one of my former school students who is in her 20s now, Destiny Roke. You know who I'm talking about. And she's been great for feedback on my videos. It's great to hear from my former students from 15 years ago saying, hey, Miss Grignoli, wow, you're doing a great job. Keep that up. You should get on TikTok. Now you know what TikTok is. On that note, I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you again next week.